my niece is going on vacation and her mom, my sister, asked me to throw a style in her hair that will weather the storm. You know, beach, pool, sand, heat, the whole shebang. So I just decided to throw some knotless braids in her hair, but make them kid friendly. So before I get started, I want to point out the tools that I'm using. First, my braid band, my precision comb. I'm going to be using a lock and jam. And then these little looks braid in hair. These are, I think, 16 inches long. So they're really kid friendly braid in hair. And I will tag everything for you guys. Of course, I'm going to start off with my middle part. You guys already know the deal. <laughs> I'm starting with the middle part and then I'm going to go from side to side here. I'm honestly just deciding what to do if I'm going to do a full on not less hit, um, style throughout the whole hair or I'm going to stop halfway and then finish off the, the top with some braids. But I figured at the end to just go ahead and make them full knotless braids and the way i'm making them kids friendly is by one using a shorter hair which is the little looks um braiding hair for kids and then i'm gonna stop short of doing that and then tie it off and curl the end so you guys are gonna see like it ends up really really short and cute and perfect for vacation and just or, anything honestly so what i'm doing now is i'm feeding in the braiding hair and i'm braiding it down to pass her hair length and then i'm gonna grab a little piece off the the end and wrap it one or two times to make it secure and i'm just gonna tie it off and leave it until the end and this style did not take much time because one i'm doing like a medium large size and two, the hair is shorter, so I don't have to go as long. And then not only is the hair shorter, but I'm also stopping at a shorter length. So this just made it way quicker than normal. Of course, I'm going to use my precision comb to clean up the parts. You see how crisp the parts are. I know you guys love that. Um, then again, I'm using the lock-in jam or gel or whatever. I'll tag it um to do the style and at the end of course i use my edge control which we are out of stock to do the edges and sleek everything so right now i'm just using the comb to make three legs and then i go ahead and start adding the feet in off the rack i'll also add the rack because i really really like the rack it's like a plastic rack it's not the wood one the wood ones would break a lot and the rack um doesn't really break and also it comes with this attachment that kind of sticks it to my desk that i use so yeah i really really like it so i'll tag that as well so if you've been watching me a while you already know um the gist of this style um but while i'm going i'm trying to make sure that i'm lining up the hair together so even though you know you could just uh, you can't just braid blindly. You kind of still have to keep in mind that everything has to be on the same length. So I braid past her natural hair. That's the one. And then two, I'm trying to make sure that they are all on the same level. Um, of course, if it's at the bottom row, it might be a tad bit longer than the row above it. Uh, just because, you know, of how it's laid out but once i'm on a certain row i make sure that those lengths are all the same so once i get to a certain point i'm gonna compare them to each other just like that and just make sure they're all the same length and then tie it off So there is the rack in the background on the left hand side that is the plastic rack and there's so many different things you can use for holding your hair um you know they have the magic finger hands that you can use and i've just you know if it's not broke don't fix it for me so i've always had the rack but this plastic rack i really find really really easy to use and it helps a lot and i've learned different ways on how to pull the hair so i don't 
share the hair like I used to. I used to put individual, um, not strands, but um, feed-ins, what I'm going to be feeding into the braid. I used to share those out beforehand and then just start braiding, but I don't really have to do that anymore. I kind of just pull from a bundle and just know the size that I'm pulling. And that's the same as using like the magic finger hands or anything else. You're just kind of pulling from a big bundle. So if you're at the level where you can do that, um, you know what I mean? That works as well. But if you're not and you still share it, which I don't think anything's wrong with sharing the hair out, it probably saves a lot of time not having to like take that little time it takes to pull the hair off. You already have it pre-done. Um, that helps as well. I'm just feeding in as I go and, you know, when I get to a certain point, I start to kind of, you know, comb out the ends, comb out her natural hair. And I know it looks like I'm just pushing her head all around. So at some point I'm going to show you, I'm going to slow it down. I like to do this every now and then for the new people that watch my videos and like to think that I am being super aggressive. I'm going to put the video to one, which is no speed. And I'm going to show you guys uh how i actually braid which this is it so this is the actual speed of what we're going so i like to do that every now and then on a video of a child so you guys know like i'm actually not like throwing her head around i'm not braiding aggressively like this is my natural speed it is slower than usual <laughs> Um, but this is the natural speed and that's how long it takes you to pull from um, the rack. So like, that's what I said earlier. If you want to pre share the hair, it definitely make things go a lot faster because every time I pull from the rack, I kind of have to make sure it's the right amount that I'm pulling off. And sometimes that takes a little bit of time and, you know, so pre sharing is definitely not a bad thing, but right now I just kind of throw the bundles on there as I, and just pull as I go. So now I'm at the end. So what I'm going to do is curl the ends and I'm using the magic finger mousse and I'm just putting it at the end of the hair and I'm going to wrap it around this. I don't even know what you call this thing. I'm just wrapping it around it and it's the yellow one to get the length, the curl size that I want. And then at the end, I'm going to dip it in some water, some hot water, and you guys will be able to see the finishing look. So I end up wrapping like three to four on one, and then I'm dipping it in and I go up some because the hair was a little stiff. So I went up further than I normally would because I just really wanted to loosen the braids. They were feeling a little stiff, uh, maybe because of the length or whatever. But I kind of wanted to loosen them up so that I'm using the hot water up. And this is the curl. I took the things out. And now um, we have a really cute curl pattern. And this is the final look, you guys. So she is ready for vacation. So she's been back and the hair still looks nice refreshed the pool and the beach and all that stuff didn't do too much damage to it so it's still intact and can last her at least another week or two 
So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are always loving, supporting my videos, and I appreciate that so, so much. Don't forget to turn your notifications on if you are new here. I am dropping videos this week, next week. Just turn your notifications on. Thank you so much.